Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, who wishes to adorn every man and woman with beautiful craftsmanship to have a big, beautiful house for every family and individual to live in comfort and safety. We continue the series for Gaza in World War III. In September of 2023, Satan Yahoo of Israel said that he had a new economic partnership with the king of Saudi Arabia. They would make a new maritime route, which would bypass the maritime choke point named the Suez Canal in the Red Sea. Netanyahu explicitly stated that the new trade route will connect Europe to India. He said he did not need to consider a two-state solution and the representatives of the state of Palestine, including Gaza, would no longer have a say in the future of their territory. Since 2007, Gaza had a concrete and steel fence completely stopping all traffic from entering and leaving the territory. October of 2023, the Hamas Army of Gaza broke open the walls surrounding the territory of Gaza. They retreated after several hours with 250 prisoners of war. October 2023, Netanyahu uses fighter jets every night of October to carry out airstrikes on the cities of Gaza. 200 airstrikes every night for five days and 500 airstrikes every night until the end of October, reaching up to 750 airstrikes in one night. One million residents leave their property under bombardment and 10,000 are killed in the first 30 days, counted as killed. Twice this number have life-threatening injuries with no a possibility for medical care Thousands are missing under demolished structures. There's no ability to search or retrieve them. November, Netanyahu's army tanks surround the cities of Gaza, Beit Hanun, and Jabalia. Airstrikes continue at the rate of 200 airstrikes every night. The first week of November, the city of 20,000 named Beit Hanun is demolished under bombardment, killing thousands. November 25 to the last day of the month is the release of 110 prisoners of war by Hamas army. And the next month, December 19th through the 25th, it's the blackest days of Gaza where more than 2,000 people are killed every day in the city Jabalia under bombardment. 2,000 people from Jabalia are taken as prisoners of war. At this time, the population of Jabalia had mostly evacuated, and the 10,000 killed in these five days are people who did not evacuate in the previous months. 200,000 people are known to have not evacuated from the cities of Beit Hanun, Jabalia, and Gaza City. Many of the injured were not able to evacuate. From January 2024 to April of 2024, Satan Yahoo's army is at a standstill, and the Israeli people protest the war in Gaza by the tens of thousands in the streets of Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. April 1, Netanyahu airstrikes. Damascus, Syria, killing an Iranian commander, General Mohammed al-Zahidi. April 13, Iran op uh, launches Operation True Promise 1 using nuclear satellite missiles, 280 drones, 30 cruise missiles, 120 satellite missiles. 250 aircraft from Netanyahu's military coalition helped defend Israel from the more than 200 drones and 30 cruise missiles. Only fighter jets can intercept cruise missiles. 40 of the satellite missiles struck. 
most of the satellite missiles were intercepted by United States warships on the shores of Israel. Only a satellite missile can intercept a satellite missile. May of 2024, Netanyahu's army bombards the city of Rafah, where one million refugee have evacuated to. The people of Gaza are forced out onto the grass and sand along the beachside. Hundreds of thousands have no tents. July 31, Netanyahu carries out three airstrikes to assassinate foreign leaders. Bombs in Tehran kill Ismail Haniyeh, the leader of Hamas. Airstrikes in Beirut, Lebanon kill Fouad Shakur, leader of Hezbollah. Airstrikes in Damascus kill Amir Ali Ahajazeda, leader of Iran's missile project for Hezbollah. Months later, Amir Ali Ahajazeda is found alive taking photographs for the announcement of Operation True Promise 2. October 25, Netanyahu uses 100 aircraft to bombard the cities in Lebanon along the border in one operation overnight, Northern Arrow. Throughout the next week, Netanyahu's army enters the city of Jenin in West Bank and demolishes the city streets, killing 100 in raids. Janine is the last city on the highway north towards Lebanon. September 17, 4,000 pagers are remotely detonated in Lebanon because they have been booby-trapped by Satan Yahoo. September 18, more than 1,000 radios are remotely detonated. September 27, airstrikes kill the leader Hassan Nasrallah of the Hezbollah army in Lebanon. October 1, Iran launches Operation True Promise 2 and all of the 100 or 200 warheads strike Israel. The first week of October, Netanyahu does 100 airstrikes every night in Beirut in South Lebanon. All of the small towns of Lebanon along the border are demolished by bombardment to prevent their property owners from returning. One million people of Lebanon become refugees. Hundreds of thousands flee to Syria. October 25, Netanyahu launches Operation Days of Repentance using fighter jets to strike four radar defense systems in Iran, 20 fuel missile mixer, mixers, the Perchin military complex, UAV factory, and a secret base in Tehran. Allahu Akbar.